saying this to me. I've been, I've been here three years in San Francisco. Why does every black butch lesbian look like me? <laughs> Explain that fucking shit to me. And they get real touchy. I grew up with all women. I was raised by most of our women, so women feel comfortable with touching me and hugging me and stuff, which is cool. But lesbians really feel comfortable touching me. They be feeling me up, and it's not a sexual thing. They just want to know what body part they got to work out. You know what I'm saying? They be like, oh, I got to get forearms like his. Like, what? They don't fuck around, man. I got a lesbian friend. I learned one thing about this town. There's nothing you can say that can freak people out sexually here. Yeah. Nothing. You can go, I fuck horses. They'll be like, was it a Palomino? Because <laughs> I fuck some Clydesdales myself. <laughs> My little sister like Abyssinians. <laughs> yep. Serious, man. I didn't know I was a kid. I was a cop. I'll take this off the stage. This is like a nervous habit. I'm not nervous. I just fuck that. Um... <laughs> I'm just hoping this shit don't cave in. They running around up there. That's what's making me nervous. I ain't nervous here. I'm scared about this shit. I'm concerned, like, the look on your face, my man. I'm concerned if I don't get a laugh, this motherfucker looking at me like he judging my career is based on in a basement. He's looking at me like, hmm, this thing was kind of clever. I must admit. I've never heard a black man that told a fucking Anne Frank joke before. I've never met one. I never thought I'd ever see it. It's possible. Yes, they are possible. Here's one to freak you out. My cousin's look, my little cousin turned 10 this past month for a present. I got her the Barbie Salvador Dolly. Yeah, whenever you pick it up, it just floops like soups to a hand. See? And that's another one. He's like, damn, he knows Salvador Dolly too. Hey, come on in, folks. Get relaxed. Black hands on stage. You ain't gotta worry. That's your girl right there, Mac? Yeah. Damn. Damn. I'm impressed. How you pull up? What, what? I'm in for no, no offense, Matt, but how you pull up? What you rocking? What you, what you go? And did you, here, let's get to this point. Did you use a funny pickup line when you met her or were you yourself? I was myself. That's the best way to be. Am I right, ladies? Don't you want a man to be himself? Have a little money, right? <laughs> That's what you want. Stop, men. Don't use a funny pickup line to be women. Be yourself. That's all I'm saying. Why I see guys doing it all the time. I saw a guy one time, he's trying to talk to this girl. He goes, excuse me, sweetheart, is your father a thief? <laughs> then how did he steal his cars out of the sky and put them in your eyes? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. See, you can never say that to a black woman. You'll get back like, is your father a thief? Is your mother a hoe? <laughs> <laughs> Buy me a drink, bitch. <laughs> but I tried that when I was young. I saw a girl, she was fine. You know what I'm saying? My fellas, we all seen that one. She was thick. This girl was thick like a White Castle milkshake. Do you understand what I'm talking about? She had more curves than Lombard Street. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I went up to her, stuck up a basic conversation. I was like, hey, how you doing? Where you from? Can we fuck? You know, basic conversation. My boyfriend comes back from the bathroom. He sees me talking to her. Of course, he gets irate. He goes, what the fuck you doing hollering on woman? I start thinking to myself, what would Popeye do in this situation? And what would Popeye do? Eat a can of spinach? Whoop ass. I didn't have a can of spinach. But I did have a pack of Mentos. You saw a commercial, what happened? If you eat a Mentos, you could accomplish the world, right? I had two of them. Gave them a left cross. As the paramedics rushed me to the hospital, with a pack of Mentos up my ass, I was just glad it wasn't a can of spinach. I was reading this in the paper the other day. They found the original bus that Rosa Parks was on. True. And they're going to put it in a museum in Detroit where she's from. And they, you know, I think that's cool. But here's the question I ask. Are they going to put it in the front of the museum? <laughs> Just wondering. Just a thought. Martin Luther King's birthday's passed now. You know what's funny? I always wonder, nobody knows how to celebrate that. We're glad we have a day off work. Here's how you celebrate Martin Luther King's birthday. I think all white people should go out and hug random black people. <laughs> Late at night. <laughs> in Hunter's Point. You know what I'm saying? Either you'll get mugged or you'll make a new friend. That's how it works, that's all. But then you gotta take that chance. So. Anybody here besides me remember when uh, the tea party used to be known as the KKK? <laughs> this man? I'm against abortion except in the case of rape, incest, and the birth of Republicans. Anyone else? <laughs> yeah, man. Anti-abortionists always trip me out. You know why? Because they always say that the fetus has a soul and killing anything with a soul is immoral. 
I said, okay, well, based on that logic, Michael Bolton should stop singing Motown songs. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. They do some funny stuff. I love when abortionists are against, like they're against abortion, but they eat eggs. I love that shit. I love that shit. Saw this in the paper in Mississippi. They were against teaching evolution in school. I must agree, because it's hard to teach something you've never done. Yeah, I know. These are the jokes that kept me off BET. They're like, wait a minute, black man that thinks we can't have that, you gotta talk about his dick. Can't have that shit. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Y'all see my ring? I'm doing I'm black and flashing for QVC. Y'all see my ring? My high school ring. My high school ring, man. Yeah. I uh was in the library the other day, I'm working out on a computer, and as this kid, he sees me, you know, he looks like it because it looks like a sports ring. I look like I had a shape running back, right? So he looks me up and down, he goes, you know he got his pants sagging, you know how they're out of thugs today. He looks me up and down, you play basketball? I said, no. You play football? No, what you get the ring for? I graduated, bitch. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't. Wow, man. I went once I was in Dolores Park, and I'm sitting down reading a book. Homeless man comes over and sits on the bench across from me and nonchalantly pulls out his crack pipe. He goes, you mind if I smoke? I said, ain't that a bitch, a gentleman crackhead. <laughs> Only in San Francisco can that happen. What kind of bullshit is that, man? Here's a thought I just had. I think squirting should become an Olympic sport. <laughs> Seriously. I guarantee you the Super Bowl would pale by comparison. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like in golf, what do they talk about? You can hit it 300 yards, that's pretty impressive. 